They're camping out for a cause, but the Occupy Dunedin protesters are really trying the council's patience. A trespass notice has been issued based on a breach of camping bylaws. Problem is, the police don't see that as a reason to enforce the notice, meaning the protesters can stay. Dunedin Mayor Dave Cull says it's a decision that could have implications for the rest of the country, and he joins us now. Good morning, Mr Cull. Good morning. Uh, what is the council's main problem with the protesters? The council's problem is that they're camping in the octagon, they're monopolising a public space that the rest of the community have made very clear they want back. That's the problem, the is camping, not the protesting. Does the council have any sympathy for the protesters' cause? At a council level, we haven't considered the, the protesters' causes. Obviously, at a personal level, most of us would read down that list of issues and say, we agree with a fair few of them. So have that's you... That's a personal... Stance. Have the council engaged in conversational dialogue with the protesters? Yeah, we've had a number of meetings with them. The third day that they were there, the chief executive and I went down and talked to them about um, the balance between their right to protest and our obligation and responsibility to the community. And we've had, we invited them to the public forum some days later, to which they came, but unfortunately they wouldn't answer questions. And we had a subsequent meeting with some of their uh, leaders, or so-called leaders, um, which was very amicable, and we put a few ideas. They took them back, but we didn't get much response. And then sometime later, I put a compromise proposal to them whereby they could retain an information kiosk in the octagon and a symbolic tent, but the camping would have to go. And that was about last Thursday, I think, and we, um, we haven't heard back from them. Right, but the, in, in itself, it's gone from approximately, what, 58 tents down to 11 tents, so if it just carries on this trajectory, they'll just go by themselves. Is this possible? That would be great. But it hasn't happened yet, and you have decided to involve the police. Why did the council choose to use the police in this bylaw? Well, at the time, I mean, there's a number of things. At the time we issued the trespass notice, which was nearly, well, probably a week ago now, just over a week ago, there were considerably more tents there, and at some times considerably more people. Now, as I, I'd have to emphasise, it's not the people, it's the camping that's the issue. Um, but the fact that uh, a reasonable number of people are there throughout the night has meant that um, human waste, urine, a bit of fouling around the neighbourhood has increased. Um, but the main reason is we're just getting a very, very clear message from our community. In the main, these people have had a fair go, they've, had, they've got their right to protest, but it's time they moved on. So you think a month's enough and then the Bill of Rights should just, you know, pass on, their time's up? No, no, I don't think it's to do with the Bill of Rights, it's to do with camping. They've uh, got a right to protest. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. So uh, what do you make of the police decision not to enforce this trespass notice? Look, I can completely understand the police's position. Um, what it doesn't do, though, is distinguish between the people there and their right to protest and the fact that they're camping. And I guess it raises the question, and this is, this is where the national implications come in, because every, every council has bylaws, it raises the question, what other laws and bylaws are you permitted to break if you're protesting? Well, this is where I guess the Bill of Rights come in. You're allowed to protest, but in what manner? Because it's been suggested that the trespass notice, in effect, shifts the problem off the, of the council and onto the police because they have to take action and bear the cost of that action. That would be true, but that's the, same, that's the case whenever you issue a trespass notice, you expect the police to, uh, to enforce it, whether you're a private citizen or a public body. So in this situation, why not uh, go through a court process? We could go through a court process, and, we, and that's certainly one of the options we'll be considering um, to clarify the, the situation. And we had had uh, discussions with the police about that uh, in, in previously, uh, but it was our legal advice that the trespass notice was the more appropriate at the time. Uh, we'll have to look at our options now and see whether, uh, in terms of timeliness and cost and appropriateness, we want to go down the, uh, the court um, road. Um, because the police are just saying it's not specific enough, um, this trespass notice, that they, it doesn't specify how the interference was occurring, that a, a particular group that wants to use the uh, octagon that, in fact, the protesters are preventing them from, could you try reissuing the trespass notice with more details? Uh, well, we could think about that, but I think the, the main thing the police are resting their, their concerns on is the test of reasonableness. And we are saying, well, we don't think it's reasonable for people to break the, the camping bylaw, and they're saying, well, we think it's a grey area. Look, I understand that, and we'll have to see how we test it. 
Do you think timing could be an issue here? Do you think that post Rugby World Cup, post election, there might be a change of heart? Uh, well, uh, do you mean a, I don't know if you mean a change of heart on the part of the protesters or the police, but both probably, yeah, quite yeah, possibly. I was thinking on the on the part of the police because you know when the whole situation where if the police go in and enforce this bylaw, uh, that will be an ugly scene and, and could potentially change the whole dynamic of the protest. Yes, it could, and frankly, there's no way that council wants a physical confrontation of that type which is precisely, or was one of the reasons, I offered the compromise last week. Of the kiosk and the tent in the octagon. Mayor Dave Cowell, thanks yeah. for joining us.